In this video, we're going to present about erythropoietin or EPO, which is usually used doping in sports. This video is prepared by Nurul Ain binti Mat Yusuf, Nurul Shahidah binti Jasmi, Aimi Sakinah binti Abdul Chalil, and Iman Irdina binti Abdul Raza. Hope you enjoy this video. What is erythropoietin? Erythropoietin, or more commonly known as EPO, is a siloglycoprotein hormone, MW34,000, produced by the peritubular cells of the kidney that is essential for normal erythropoiesis, which is the production of red blood cells. Peritubular cells are sensitive to low oxygen levels in blood. Therefore, when the oxygen level is too low, peritubular cells will make and release erythropoietin. Erythropoietin hormone will then promote the production of red blood cells by the bone marrow, which increases the oxygen carrying capacity of blood in the body. In sports, some athletes take an artificial form of EPO called epoietin alpha as a performance enhancing drug to increase energy. This technique is called blood doping. Epoietin alpha is produced synthetically using recombinant DNA technology. Blood doping technique is used in sport because a higher concentration in the blood can improve an athlete's aerobic capacity and endurance. What is pharmacodynamics of erythropoietin? Erythropoietin and the epoietin alpha are involved in the regulation of the erythrocyte, differentiation and maintenance of the physiological levels of secretion erythrocyte mass. It is reported to increase the reticular site count within 10 days of indentation, followed by increasing in RBC count, hemoglobin, and hematocrit usually within 2 to 6 weeks. Depending on the dose administered, the rate of hemoglobin increase may vary. Epoetin alpha serves to restore erythropoietin deficiency in pathological and other clinical conditions where normal production of erythropoietin is impacted. Mechanism of erythropoietin or EPO. EPO molecule will bind and stabilize the EPO receptor drug 2 complex trimer and causing a conformational change that trigger transphosphorylation and activation of JAK2. Then, activated JAK2 will phosphorylate styrosine residue on stage 5 and the EPO receptor cytoplasmic domain and resulting in a signaling cascade that activates a number of effector pathway. There is three major signaling pathway that are activated by the phosphorylation process, which is first stage 5, signal transducer and activator of transcription 5 that involve in suppressed late stage erythroblast apoptosis, promote erythroblast proliferation and survival, control erythroid maturation, encodes an antioxidant serpent protease, modulate iron uptake and enhanced bioavailable iron for hemoglobin production. Second, we have canonical rest mitogen activated protein kinase, MEDK, pathway that promotes the survival, proliferation and differentiation of erythroid progenitor cell along with the phosphoinositide 3 kinase, PI3K, AKT pathway. In addition, AKT will activate the FOXO3 which involve in controlling antioxidant pathway, cell polarity and enucleation. So, for the administration of erythropoietin, it can be divided into three. The first one is inject under the skin subcutaneously. It is usually given into the tag or tummy. It is also being given intravenously. The time to reach peak concentration is slower by a subcutaneous route than the intravenous route. Erythropoietin also can be given as intraperitoneally. Many athletes take erythropoietin because of its overall effect to increase endurance and, in athletics, it is used mainly by long-distance runners. It stimulates red blood cell production. The more red blood cells in our body, the more oxygen that can be delivered to the muscle. It will delay the onset of fatigue, meaning an athlete can run harder and for a longer time. What are the side effects when EPO is misused? 
A proper use of EPO has an enormous therapeutic benefit in the treatment of the anemia related to kidney disease. Its misuse can lead to serious health risks for athletes who use this substance simply to gain a competitive edge. It is well known that EPO, by thickening the blood, leads to an increased risk of several deadly diseases such as heart disease, stroke, and cerebral or pulmonary embolism. The misuse of recombinant human EPO may also lead to autoimmune disease with serious health consequences. Thank you for watching. This is the reference that we use for make this presentation. You may check it out for further information. Thank you.